Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the September 8th, 2021 Abington Finance Committee meeting. Uh, we are meeting tonight. We have a couple of agenda items to go over. Uh, we will introduce our new, uh, the new two newest members of our board. Uh, we will go over some year-end transfer information that we got wrong before and uh, fix it. Uh, and uh, due to a uh, few people being missing, we will not go over our liaison assignments as we had originally intended, uh, and then we'll go through our, our regular business of liaison reports, correspondence, and reviewing our, our prior minutes, uh, which we probably also won't vote on because of attendance. Um, but so should be a fairly quick meeting tonight. Uh, and starting it off, we have two new committee members to introduce, uh, both sitting over to my left. Uh, we have Paul Haggerty, uh, who is new to the committee this year, but has been uh, involved in lots of things in Abington over the years. Uh, and we have Drew Leverault. Is that how to pronounce yep. your last name, Drew? Perfect. OK, yeah. good. Uh, who uh, has definitely been involved in some stuff around town as well. Yep. And, but again, new to our committee, we're very excited to have both of them here with us. Uh, excited to uh, take on this new year with a couple of new uh, fresh faces for us and fresh input. Um, you guys have anything you want to? No, done. thank you. Excited to be aboard. Yeah, like ditto, yeah. Yeah, happy to support you and however we can, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, great. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Happy to have the support. <laughs> and hopefully at times when it's appropriate, some opposition. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't shy away from that. I'm not looking for just yes men. So. Um, all right, our uh, one major item for our agenda tonight is uh, revisiting some of our year-end transfers. Uh, there were some um, accounting misplacements with where we were getting money from uh, when we did our transfers at our last meeting. Uh, we took a lot of money out of the health insurance line item and turned out that there was um, unexpected expenses in the health insurance uh, budget that had not cleared yet and that, that were outstanding and cleared after, the, after we had done our, our transfers. So we do have to uh, move um, $270,786.56 around um, to uh, appropriately balance the books. Uh, once again, for those watching, this is uh, money that was, uh, was spent in one area but not spent in other areas. And we're moving it from different, we, we moved it in the previous meeting from some line items where we had underspent to line items that were, were slightly over. Um, Sorry, and, now. Yep. Can we ahead. be more specific? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so. We originally moved the we, additional 270. It was on our original transfer. Let me go back through because it was. Deb, did we have the exact. Mm, on the, on the yeah, I was going to say we have the numbers on the minutes. So in our last meeting. Yeah. Um, in our last meeting, we moved uh, out of the health, right? Out of health, out of health. Okay, so I don't think it was all just stuff that we moved in the last meeting. I'm looking for where we had health expense. Seeing health expense on here. Yeah, I don't see health expense on there. So I think what I think what had happened was um, that there there was Accounting where there was two hundred and seventy, approximately two hundred and seventy thousand dollars, two hundred and seventy thousand seven hundred eighty-six and fifty-seven cents, to be specific, uh, that 
we went uh, either we went over in health insurance or the money was taken out of health insurance for one reason or another and put into somewhere else. Um, let me see if I can. I, I unfortunately the information that I had from I had conversations with Sue about this and I don't have it all um, all documented exactly. So we don't know what the breakdown is of, of in this five hundred there's a five hundred and nine thousand five ninety one. Is that in the the email that we had? Yeah. Right. Just that uh, Yep, so there was I believe posted it, against oh one if that, if that has it in there, there was an expense of five hundred thousand approximately five hundred thousand that had to be taken out from where's that oh oh one nine one four oh five one seven five do we know what, what um oh, no. to pass? see that again for a sec posted against should have been posted against this five oh nine there is currently an available balance of two thirty eight but we don't know from where so the amount needed so for the, the transfer. So the current balance of 238-805-39 is the current balance of the health expense line item. Okay. And That's there was there was a essentially five hundred thousand dollars that was posted against that line item. Against the that, health line. Against the health line item that sh I believe should have been broken up into different places. So this must be health. I believe so. Oh, yes. Yeah. Five one seven five. I believe is the health okay. insurance line item. So the current health line item is. So the current balance is two thirty eight and change. So we need to add two hundred and seventy and change into that line item from other places in the budget where we have it, where we didn't spend it. Right. So to that's cover that, was... that bill that was posted to, essentially to the wrong. And line. do we can or we say where bills. do we specifically know where that two hundred and seventy thousand seven hundred and eighty six dollars yes. and fifty cents? Yep. So I can I can detail out now where we are where we are taking the that from and so fifty seven and fifty six. Fifty seven. Thank you. Okay. Can, can I just ask like what is the finance committee's role in these year end transfers? So in the year end transfers, our role is to work with generally work with the town accountant to make sure that um, make sure that we're taking money from places where we have it and putting it to two places where we where we need it and making sure that there is um, some level of oversight from the town for the accountant like a checks to, and balances to, almost that, that uh, the, the accountant can't just move it themselves we have to approve and they sign off on it and vote to, that that's okay to do vote that. that we're going to do this it's a it's it's very routine to do at the end of each fiscal year to make sure that the books the books are but is, are there restrictions as far as where or can they move money between certain accounts but not others because like i think on the school department it's like they can't take something from facilities and then move it into the salaries without it getting approved by the school committee Right. right. Is that how this similar, works? Similar to this. We have to, if they're moving it from, like, I think there are, there are changes within the department that are a, a little bit more. Um, from the, that has the oversight of the department that head. That has the oversight of the department head. But in, the, in an instance like this where, like, if you look at, at what we did last time, which is in your, at the, yep. the last page of your packet, like, we were moving things from, um, like from the tax for foreclosure line to IT salaries and expenses, like that's vastly different things. Right, like they not can't, they're the not allowed. Department. The accountant's not allowed to just move that on their own. They need okay. approval from us. But then you still have to pay that that bill. So you have an overage in one area, but then you you're um, you're under and an owe an expense or, or a bill, uh, whether it's to a contracted service or, or to an employee you, yeah, for that salary just, or for something that you didn't cover um, but you had more money in, in over here 
So then you, they come here to the Finance Committee and say, we have this bill, or we're short here because of blah, 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 and, um, but we are over in this, this, and this, so we can use those combined to pay this bill. Okay. And then we vote. And, and so, yep, sorry. Keep so, so then then um, we vote and discuss it. And, and, and what's the role of the town manager in this transaction as far as preparing? Pre pre preparing and present, working usually with the town accountant, preparing and presenting. Okay, and this schedule that's us. here, who prepared this? Uh, the town accountant prepared okay. that with the, with the town manager. Okay. And so um, one of the places at the end of the year that there is typically money left over that we can transfer out of is the health insurance line because uh, where we essentially self health insure um, we have to make sure that we are budgeting enough to cover if more people sign on than expected. Okay. So, or that actually do. So we typically do. So it's do always have some, a moving. It's a, it's a, it's moving a very target. moving target because you don't know if someone new is going to get hired right. or is going to jump onto a family plan, or, or, if, somebody or if somebody will somebody stop gonna, taking the insurance right, that somebody, was right. previously receiving the insurance. Yeah. Now maybe their spouse right. gets insurance and they're going to switch. Yeah. So, but you have to make sure that you cover for the maybes yeah um, so at the end of the year we typically have money left over in the health insurance line and and i am unfortunately forgetting all of the details that sue told me but in expecting there to be money in the health insurance line there was a bill that went to the health insurance line and other things had come out so that's where the kind of the overage that we're now trying to and it hadn't for. cleared yet it hadn't to show that it yet. had come out so it looked like that money was still right available like and there was insurance. over the five hundred thousand that was needed in there and in in fact there was only two hundred and thirty thousand okay. does that make sense it, somewhat it, it does but it does. I, I guess i'm just trying to understand how how we're supposed to Evaluate anything based on this schedule where it doesn't even come to a total. I mean, what the, I don't know what the total number is. Right. So I don't know if there's another schedule here. And then I see that the finance chair signed it, but I don't see anybody else from the town accountant, town manager's side taking responsibility. So for what? Schedule. So what happened with this with the last meeting? So why you see my signature? What happens is it's presented to us and and uh, frequently. Um, what will happen as, as this is being put together and put forth, things will still be coming in up to almost up till the last last minute, and there'll be things that will have gone out to us on on hey, this is what we're going to be talking about tonight, and then things continue to be changed, and so sometimes things come off even as it's being presented to us in the meeting. We as a we as a committee will discuss and go through it in our meeting and we'll vote on it, and only the chair has to sign the paper. Okay. But, but does the town Because it's getting an approval from us, right? right. So um, the, the town accountant can't approve it, the town manager can't approve it, the, we as a group have to approve it, kind of like speaking for the town, okay. But they make a recommendation. They do make a recommendation, and yeah. the vote is on. Like, if you look at page two of the notes, the vote is on record on there. Where, where, um, if you look through, it's the, starting the top of page two. Okay. Uh, Sue Mokwin reviewed the year-end transfers. Item one was withdrawn. So that was something where it had changed between when the, the paper was written up and. So we so that's we why worked you see out, that on here. Yeah, we worked out the, the totals to as we went during the meeting. Um, you see the notes for each one of the items, and then the, who made the motion. Who so seconded this is it, more, Paul. This paper is is more like speaking points for us. Yep. Right, and then it, and then when we sit in the meeting, we go over it very in depth. And we ask questions, and we find out why. You know, okay, selectman salaries, the expense, um, this amount was needed. This one was withdrawn, so it's a bad example. But um, they were going to use um, the commissioner's stipend in order to uh, cover 
the selectmen's expenses that they were under on. And then we'll ask, like, why were they under on that? You know, what was going right. on? What were the issues? And then we kind of get all of that information, and then we go to number two and do, do that all the way through. So this isn't really like a, uh, like a spreadsheet or a... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Ledger. Like a ledger, yeah. I think that the answer to your question, if I may, yep. is yes. We normally get a form that has the accountant signature yes. and the town manager and the finance committee. It's not, that's a very yep. unusual. So there's yeah. a formal, there's a formal there's form that, that they have form yes. at year end. Yes. 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 Line, yeah. this okay. is the Perfect. line, that's, this is the okay. line that it's going, Thank you. that it's going awesome. from, this is the line it's going to, this is the amount that's okay. going. And it details it down. And bear with me on this. So yes. no, no. It, it, these are all good questions. So does do the does the CPA firm actually review these when on audit, like any transfers? When, in the when we are audited, yes, they are reviewed. Do we get audited every year? I don't. Is it every year? It depends. It depends on what. I'm not things. sure. Certain it's things get audited, uh, and the, the, the next like, year, um, things get audited. Yeah. Like one year they did health, and the next year they did another area. Chris. I, oh, we have to have an account. Like I, I <laughs> no, but I, I don't really know. I just, my assumption is it wouldn't work like any place is that you, you get a real in-depth audit every two every, or three yeah, years. Three so years usually. In between, it's. But part of the reason for having to do this is when we vote a town meeting the budget. The town can't spend more, correct me if I'm wrong, can't spend more in that account than what we budgeted without some kind of vote from this committee to cover the transfer. So there are there are exceptions there, there are exceptions to that. With within the budget there are like like we said, there are some there are some lines where there's kind of give within the department and things like that. If it's a, an article that specifies a dollar amount for a specific purpose, like um, like when we talked about the article for the Central Street Bridge, okay. we can't spend that money on anything but the Central Street Bridge. But I think what you were and saying is, he's saying like if we yeah. give, I'm just gonna use crazy numbers, if we give $500,000 to the park and rec department um they if if all of a sudden they need five hundred and fifty thousand dollars the town accountant or the town manager can't just go and say oh well they need fifty thousand more dollars we're going to take it from the general fund abc they it's your set you have to it has to come to us or um certain things have to go back before a town you know, and, before a town meeting vote and so with those rules when we specify the amount for the yearly budget yeah. we can't spend over that amount without going back to a special town meeting and asking for more that we would spend spend on um, we can move we can move things around within it but there are the, like mass municipal law has rules of of where things can move and when things can move and that's why we as the finance committee have to approve the year-end transfers um, but they like so as far as town vote it's like we can't spend over the budget unless <laughs> You're talking about snow and ice. Right. There was snow and ice. That's is the, the only one, is the running, that is, is the, the one exception. You're allowed to deficit spend in yep. your snow and ice. Right. Good yeah. point. You'll have lots of questions when you get there. <laughs> it, can I, yeah. According yeah. to the bylaws, I mean, it says the, the board of selectmen shall annually provide for an independent audit of all financial books and records of the town. So does that happen? That's a good question. I'm not sure what the board. I always thought it, I thought, thought, thought it was a given that annually. There's, there's and that's what I was wondering if these to, these type of year end transactions are reviewed. Yeah, yeah I won't speculate. I, I believe that they are reviewed. I don't know 100. Well, everything has to be reviewed for us to yeah. um, receive our certified, for our, our certified free cash our to be certified. Right. So that is a type of um, review. I don't know the if department they classify it as an audit, but it's from the Department of Revenue, and they everything has to match up um, for them to then say, okay, you have this money left over. Um, so they do go through that entire process every year. Yeah, and okay. I do believe there is official auditing. I don't know the frequency of it. 
Okay. Or I should say I do know that there is official auditing. I don't know the frequency of it. Yeah. Other question there? J just on, there's a reference to attachment B. Was there an attachment yes. B? It's down the bottom. See why I wrote attachment B next to the, there's two issues on that. Didn't I circled it? And wrote oh, the, res the yeah. reserve fund transfers. Reserve that's fund transfers. That, oh, so that's was originally a, from a separate sheet of paper. Oh, okay. You just combined it. Yeah, that was combined. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Got it, so yep. That's, and I wanted to specify. Yeah. So those, there, so those, you know, those plain, and those. Okay. So rever reserve fund transfers are separate from the year end transfers. The reserve mm -hmm. fund, the finance committee, as part of the town, as part of the voted budget, and and. Um, done out budget for the year, the finance committee has a reserve fund for small emergencies, essentially, and it's usually around fifty thousand dollars. Unexpected. Um, unexpected emergencies. things. So, for example, um, the roof goes on the or the the HVAC system on the library went a few years ago unexpectedly, and it couldn't be repaired. It had to be replaced. And so we had to take money out of our reserve fund, or essentially our emergency fund. The finance committee's reserve fund. Right. And so the, in, if there's something that the town wants to use that money for in an emergency situation, uh, the town manager has to come to the finance committee and say this is what happened this is the amount that we want and this is this is how we want to use it and we will either approve or deny that and they present us with a formal request yep. that we then have to discuss vote on and sign and then um, if we if we agree yep. then we can sign um, and then and so the these these two that you see on here are separate the separate transfers than the year-end transfers that we were doing. So they're coming those from the finance committee. Those were actually for oh, okay. right. yep. account. As so those actually the, come out um, of the fiscal year 22 budget, as opposed to closing the books on the fiscal year 21 budget. So in terms of the chief search, was that just because it was over budget and we anticipated a, a search for some time? Yep. Okay. And then what do we have to close out the town books until like October 1st or something like that? Uh, we, June 30th. So well, it's June 30th is when the fiscal the year ends. Yep. And usually we close the books by around the end of July. But there's like when they when everything has to be done done is when we're submitting to the Department of Revenue for our, our free cash certification. And that usually does happen around October. Okay. September, October time frame. We, we usually try to have the, the, the year-end transfers done in early, mid-July because we want to get that closed and out of the way okay. earlier So in case, in case anything is requested for that. So. And in quieter years, it, it usually does yes. get done right then, but um, the pandemic definitely... Yeah, COVID definitely made things weird for this past year because and there were so many things that it was questionable as to whether COVID, COVID funding would cover it. And so we spent money and then either got money from Plymouth County or from the state or from the federal government to reimburse that, or we didn't get money to reimburse it. And so there were areas where we either went over what we were expecting to spend because of, say, for example, distributing the vaccine here, which was not a planned expense when we were doing out the budget. So. Make sense? Yep. Other questions? No, I'm good, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so back to our $270,786.57. Uh, the sources that we are taking that from to put it into the health insurance budget, and I do have confirmation here on the, the sheet that the 5175 line is the health insurance okay, budget. Thank you. Uh, the first uh, place is from the police salaries, which is line 001210005110, and that's $25,210.93. Uh, 
Um, then from Police Educational, which is 001-2100-5140, even. Uh, then from the landfill monitoring budget, 001-1220-5294 uh, is $2,200. From the telephone budget, which is 001-1220-5341, it's $5,250. From the other services, line item, which is 001-1220-5399, $27,644. From the town manager's dues and fees line item, which is 001-1220-5730, bunch of sixes, $6,666. Not sure why there wasn't 66 cents additional there, but... <laughs> Uh, and then from the reserve fund, and this is the previous year reserve fund, not the current year reserve fund, uh, the line item is 001-1320-5789, and that is $51,938. And then from the fire department's other budget, 001-2200-5196, $43,903.64 for a total of $270,786.57. Question. Yes. The reserve fund was, um, is that? I believe that was our reserve fund. And if you recall for last year when we were going into COVID and not knowing what things were going to be like, we put a much higher sum than usual into our reserve fund so that we would have the ability to pay for things that came up as more emerge on a Right, more but then did we vote basis. that? Did we vote that to be used here? And do we need to? Um, I think voting that as part of this, okay, because it's the previous year, so we're trans we're doing the year end transfer, right? But because it's not a current year request. Okay. Do you mind if I add, Chris, add those numbers up? Yeah, mm. <laughs> go for it. Um, I was actually wondering, and I, I looked at the pennies part, and the pennies part worked out. So yeah, no, I did that <laughs> first. But. I still, we don't turn this back to. That does get turned back to the, to free cash. To free cash. And the general, and the so then fund. wouldn't it be, mm -hmm. any, why is any, it not free cash? Because yes. Any of these would be turned back to free cash because they're, it's money left over in the. Agreement. Right. But so instead of turning it back to free cash, we're using it here. Correct. We don't need to. Vote separately on that. That's not a separate. I don't believe that we need to vote separately because we are no longer in this fiscal year. Okay. That fiscal year has ended, so there's no option to bring reserve fund requests for last year's right. reserve fund. So I think it just applies to the year-end transfer. Hmm. And so that is the balance of it what was left. Up. It does add up. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. So that is the balance the, of what, what was that left that's in the, the reserve fund. the balance of what was left in the reserve okay. fund that we did not spend last year. Okay. okay. I have a very sort of, what I'm guessing is going to be a basic question, but. Um, that's okay. So I know for the state, you know, if we don't spend our budget for our particular agency, it reverts back to the general fund at the close of the year. Yep. Is that the same for each Abs department within the town? Absolutely, sound? yes. Okay. Anything that's not spent reverts back to the general fund, and then we apply to the Department of Revenue. With We put all of that together and apply to the Department of Revenue for free cash, and there's some sort of calculation and formulation that tells us how much of it we can actually keep. Gotcha. Okay. And then the account police educational, is that related to like training and education or is that related to the Quinn Act there for the additional salary? So it's not specifically the Quinn Act because several years back Abington uh, dropped participation okay. in the Quinn Act, but it's along those lines, it's educational reimbursement. Gotcha, okay. 
And all those numbers that you read off, like what's behind that? Like if we're supposed to vote on something, how do I know what we're, like what's even behind those numbers? So what's behind those numbers are individual line mm -hmm. items where we did not spend the amount that we had budgeted for that line item. For example, police salaries, we had, it was about $25,000, if I'm looking yeah. correctly there. Um, if we had a position that went unfilled for half of the year or so, that we budgeted for the full year for that position, the salary that we didn't spend on the half year that we didn't have someone in that position is just unspent salary line item money. But is there something from the town accountant that lays all that out? Yeah, so the, Like, why are they moving that money from... More, more often than not, it's just as they, as they present to us, they're like, we didn't spend in this. We'll usually ask questions like that okay. of why is, why is there this much money left in this account? So, like, so like, for example, the health insurance that we talked about where we, we budget for what we might have to, have to cover and have to spend in health insurance. And then if people don't take it, there's, there's money left over. Right. We'll ask questions and we'll usually get that. We don't usually run into a scenario like this where no one is available at our meeting to answer those questions. We're in a difficult spot tonight with this because the town manager was not able to come and the town accountant who is uh, stepping down and going to another town is gone and on vacation. So we don't have anyone here with us to answer those questions tonight, unfortunately. Normally, those are the questions we would ask in this time. Well, I guess there was, I, was there one, and I don't, I was wondering if I can, can I see that list of what's just to? Yep, absolutely. So I, I think it was like, was there one like $43,000 or something like that? A fire, um, uh, that's fire the, department. Fire department other. other. Yeah. So that would be out of their expenses by a department well, other. Believe yeah, so what, what is, like, on a percentage basis, that line item, how much is it? So did they just over budget? Did they just put a plug $45,000 in? They only used 2000 Like, how, how much? Because I'm just trying to think, like, as far as the budget process goes forward, like, they just put money in to an account that, like... Yeah. It, it, that goes to a question that I've asked several times. Is we don't get an actual versus budget report? And we have, and we have we, requested that. We've requested it. But that, okay. that would answer exactly what you're okay. asking. Yep. I, at least in my, the way I think about it. I'm not sure, but. Yeah. 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 And, and we and used we do, to have, we did so used we, to have it broken out. About The two, newer system does not do that. Two, maybe three years ago, we switched systems. And the, the system itself on the computer, you can see the budget versus actual, and you can see previous years. And the way that it prints out the reports that we tend to get is less less detailed than what we used to get. We used to get we used to get like here's the line item, here's what we budgeted, here's what we what actually, we actually spent, here's right. what it was the year before, here's what it was the year before that. Um, recently, we haven't gotten that level of detail, and we've been attempting to to get more detail than what, we, than what we've gotten. But we do usually, especially when we're preparing for next year's budget, we have each of the department heads in and we go line by line through their budget and we'll, we'll go through what have you spent so far this year, what, what are you projecting at, um, where are you going to be over? Where are you going to be under? Those those kinds of. Oh, things. we can ask. You know, we'll ask that. So last year you turned mm -hmm. back uh, forty three thousand nine hundred and three. Um, what? Where did they, Where did you budget too high for that? Or what happened that caused you to have that um, still left? Yeah. Sometimes so, too, it's because your um, some of the budgeting depending on the department is dependent on uh, them taking their best estimated their their best guess um, because you don't know exactly how much overtime you're going to have to spend you can look at trends but um, you know you want to make sure that you have enough that you budget for enough without being uh, you, you want to be conservative but you, you want to make sure that you cover yourself so um, 
depending on the on the department, there's a lot of things that are um, best best guess based on the trends that they look at um, over the years. So then you can be off by 10,000, 20,000, depending on. But if they can't produce the actuals for us to review, how do we know what the trends are? We, we can get that, we just not get, on the. Yeah. Um, we do get, we do see the actuals. We have seen the actuals. We, we did. We, this year at yes. the department level, yes. not all in one. Not all in one, and, and right. I know that we've asked, and that uh, yeah, we've asked. The, we do see the program right. that they're current that they're using uh, for some reason doesn't um, print it out. Print it out. It, it doesn't come out like it it previously did. Yep. Previously was all on mm -hmm. one sheet. Yeah, because that educational one for the police, it's one hundred and seven thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. I, yeah. And, and yes. Like, what's I, be, what's driving that? Because I mean, as we all know, like the you know the there's concerns about morale. Absolutely. And it's like, are they being offered the training that we budgeted for, and why wasn't that used? And sometimes and, it can be the pro not not that they themselves are, aren't going and taking a course, but sometimes it's they you know they plan to have a certain um, um, program that they're going to you know bring like a uh, like a continuing education type thing or a, right. you know uh, oh we'll try and do recertifications on whatever um, and due to COVID. Um, they weren't able to bring that in-person program in, or that program was no longer, um, or wasn't being offered during the pandemic, or you know, that's what I'm suspecting that some of it has to do with that yeah, the, some of the educational be. stuff you, you couldn't go to because they weren't offering um, that, and policemen, uh, police work is a lot more hands-on. It's not something that you're going to get uh, sitting in front of the computer and doing a, uh, a Zoom meeting. Um, so I'm going to guess that that probably. Yeah, we. We unfortunately don't have the, the details for for these specific numbers, but there were definitely a lot of things over the, the prior year where because of because of the pandemic they weren't able to do things that they had been planning on doing and budgeted for doing. And there were other areas where we had to spend a heck of a lot more than what we budgeted on and were counting on the, the additional funds from, the, like I said, the county, the state, the, the federal government to cover things like all of the, like, the testing and the vaccines and things like that. So on the town's books right now, we have a liability for $270,000 that we have to cover. So on the town's books, we don't have a liability of $270,000 on the health insurance line item. We have a liability of two hundred and seventy thousand dollars, which is on the town's books. Right. So like, that we owe it, but it's so to. Well, well, because as of June thirtieth, this right. we would have accrued for this, we would have booked it. So if if you know like the health insurance line specifically is over by that amount, the yeah, overall yeah. is not over by that amount. Because these other lines are under by that. Amount. All of these so lines are under zero. by yeah. the amount. The net of this is is zero, and the net overall is over, or is in the positive. So we're just rearranging we're, the deck. Chains. We're just rearranging, yes. Because we've got an expense over here that we that we need to cover that can't that is more than the. That we line didn't budget item. enough for. Right. We didn't budget yeah. enough for something, or uh, you or, know our. Um, Estimate our best guess um, turned out to be too low, right? Yep, and so now we need to cover that. You know, we have to pay our bill, pay for it, yep, and we have to put take the money from where it is, okay, which is again. in these areas. So, yep. what if we got to this point, we didn't have the $270,000 to mm -hmm. move? We would have to go to a special town meeting, okay? We'd start and we'd start cutting. Yep. Okay. So. Or we would we would cut. We would ask for it from town meeting, or we would ask for it out of our 
stabilization. stabilization. So let, bear with me on that. So, so there, there, are se there are several options, but regardless yeah. of the options, if we're over the actual budget, we would have to go to town meeting and ask town meeting for whichever option we chose to cover it for approval to do that. Okay. And so we've got $270,000 we need to cover. Is there anything above the 270? Like, we, we're moving things around. It's like, is there additional money that's going to go into the general fund for next year that we didn't spend? Yes. Which, they're just saying, the town of Cotton said, yeah. these are the accounts we should take it from. Yes. This is yeah. what's right. A, this is the amount yes. that's left. So what we don't yep. know tonight, for instance, is in uh, police salaries, say, it's 25210 Does that zero out what's left? In the, in, okay, in the yes, overage, right. we don't know that. Okay. Same thing. That's why I was asking Matt yep. about the reserve fund. If that if that fifty one thousand nine hundred and thirty eight, if that was the, you know, the the remainder of what was left in last year's okay. Uh, okay. reserve yeah. fund. So we don't know that yeah. tonight. Okay. What's left but in that do, account after? If do, anything, I do yeah. know from speaking with Sue Moquin, the town the town accountant, that overall the budget is in the plus more than more than this the budget is more than balanced it is that balanced because of revenue coming into the town or is that money coming in from the federal government to support like i i'm just it's trying to like this oh, past year it's up. it this past year there has been a bit of both there okay. there's been covid spending that the federal government has covered that would have taken us over what we had originally budgeted for our budget for last year um, but the COVID, the things that we spent the COVID money on were things that we would not have spent money on were it not for COVID. However, the town as a whole does rely heavily, as most every other town its size, on our state funding. State aid. That we, right. Our yeah. state aid. Right. That we heavily, heavily rely right. on that. Yeah. Um, yeah. If our state funding drops just a little bit it makes a big difference in what our budget looks right. like yeah, and that's why yep, yep and that's why you yeah. see cuts or right. diminished services at different times um, if that because we do rely on it so much that so we, there's a nice one page document we yep. usually get at the beginning that explains where all the revenue comes from that Cherry we can be interested yep. in um, yep. because it says this much state aid this much is the the taxes from meals and this or excise or yeah, excise real estate you know all that so okay. it's a nice yeah. breakdown and, um, it's somewhere in here but I sure can't yeah. find it, get right it every now. year yeah. oh, all right. and okay. so they'll uh, can, um, we can ask for a copy of the yep charity sheet and um, just for your for your knowledge for the past several years uh, leading up to um, leading up to COVID, um, we had been doing very well planning and each year for several years we had been putting money into our stabilization account, uh, which is essentially the rainy day fund, and had been building that up in preparation for a time of economic downturn so yep. that we would be prepared to handle at least a smaller bump in the road and without having to take drastic measures. Mm -hmm. And so we were in a we were in a good position leading into COVID. Uh, I know a lot of towns around had to lay off a lot of people and we never we didn't have to do that because we were in a position where we were able to budget well to keep things to sort of tighten our belts and, and be prepared and we actually haven't had to to this point had to take money out of our stabilization or when we have we put it back right well, i mean it, dirt for code we haven't had right. to take money out of stabilization so thank you we do have a fairly healthy stabilization yes. fund and a um double a we double A or A? Double, double A. a bond, rating. bond rating. So we're in. Which has increased in the time board. that I've been on the yeah, we're in. committee, which is good. So, so uh, any other questions about the specific transfers? Mm -hmm. Anything? 
No. Mm -hmm. Fine. All right. Uh, are there any? Is there a motion in regards to the transfers? Um, so the <laughs> health line item needs. I asked if there were other questions. I know. Well, you just didn't I, ask no, this as a question, Barbara. But <laughs> go ahead, Matt. Um, the health line needs two hundred and seventy. It has. It has the two hundred thirty-eight. Has two hundred thirty-eight eight hundred five. It needs two hundred and seventy to get to the to get to the five hundred nine five ninety one ninety six. Correct. Okay. And so that. Okay. That was, that was it. Okay. Um, Motions? Anyone? Motion to approve the transfer. Second. There is a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Do we need to state the amount? In the motion? Yeah. I, no. Deb no. says no. Okay. No, because it will be. In motion is printed so, on yeah, the yeah. form as just read. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And, that, and yes. so no. this, there will be a formal form that will. Yes. Be, yeah. We're doing the vote, but there's a formal form that you mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. that, right? That for this. There is. I don't know if they'll do one for that, but that's normal. Yeah. That's un unusual to do it this way. I don't know if they'll do a. Yeah, I'll I'll form. follow up with Scott to make sure that we get. The official the form we'll do the to, same, to, to sign. sign that one, yeah. and I'll turn it into so in the morning. Yep. And then once that's signed, I mean, then you wouldn't have to need or vote again. You could just sign it. Yeah, but I'll I, I'll get the official form okay. so that we. So does so this we one that. and this? Equate to that five hundred thousand dollars? No, no, that's just, 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 just the one. That, that was like notes. Yeah. yeah okay. okay. All right. And yep. kind of. And actually, can I working it all? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Back. Thanks. <laughs> So the five hundred thousand, just to be clear, is the amount that we're moving plus what is still left yes. in the account. Right. So the motion is to so so mm -hmm. the way the, the yes. five hundred thousand. The five hundred nine thousand <coughs> is the amount that we're moving and the amount that's left. The two hundred and thirty eight plus yeah. the two seventy is the five hundred. Yeah. <laughs> the five hundred and 509 is this plus this. This is what's left. What's left in the current health this line. This is what we're moving into it to cover the 509 bill. It's a $509 bill. Yes, right. essentially. I don't think it's one bill. Right, but, but it's, not, it's yes. not a transfer of 509,000. No, no, no. It's no. a transfer, a transfer of 270. 270 okay. And so there's 238. The yes, yeah, so we should. There's yes. already yes. 238 okay. in yep. there. We're transferring 270. Those two. So uh, Chris is. Motion. Do you want to read the number in right. your motion to make it official? Right. So the motion was um, to move $270,786 from the accounts printed on the form that we will sign uh, to the health uh, insurance to cover the outstanding bill. That's there. That was good. Second? I'll second that. It second was from Paul. Motion then seconded okay. already. Okay. Yeah. Chris and Barbara. So that okay. was. Do we did we have to re? No, no. I just it or we just continued clarifying? the motion. Okay. That's all. All right. Okay. okay. All right. Other questions or discussion or debate? These have all been good questions and definitely clarifying things. So now there's a second. We vote. So now there's a second. If there's no more discussion, all those in favor of approving the motion, please say aye. 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 All those oh, that's opposed. right, we're not on Zoom anymore. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all those opposed, all those abstaining, it is unanimous. The motion has passed. I will. Thank you very much. All right, and that was our big business item for tonight. Uh, are there moving on to older business? Uh, our first, as stated, uh, liaison assignments. So, a quick 
just piece of information for you guys. Uh, each of the departments in the town, we assign members of the committee to be the liaison for that department head. So they reach out to them, introduce themselves, say, hey, if you have any questions, if there's anything you need brought to the committee, let me know. And they'll usually work with them when needed um, throughout the year and um, at times perhaps set up a, a tour of the department so we can go in and see what's going on, what, what's happening. Uh, but mostly just if things come up during the year or as we head into budget season, if there's extra information that we need from them, if, they, if we need them to be prepared for something that we're going to ask when they come into our meeting, kind of just reaching out to, to be the, the person who is the liaison for that department. We always specify a lead and a backup liaison for each department, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 departments. So with nine people on the committee, typically it's two that you're the lead for and two that you're the backup for. So It's a good way, too, to, um, if you aren't sure, um, you don't know much about a certain department in town, or if you, if you think like, oh, I don't think that they're uh, running things maybe the way that, that it sounds like it should. Or It's a good way to um, really get a lot of information on, by uh, talking to that department head. And, um, and then, too, if we are going over something and something comes up and say, Paul is the liaison for the police department, and something comes up about the police budget, um, Paul can reach out and say, hey, this question, you know, was asked and, um, you know, is it something you can give me the answer for? Or do you maybe come to our next meeting? And um, lots of times you can get a lot of background information that way too. Um, yep. So it's a good way to get to know um, the, the departments and how they work. Last year, the fire department liaisons got their, got their money's worth yeah. <laughs> <laughs> leading up to the discussion about the new fire station. So, um, so we like to have at least most of the committee here for when we assign the liaison so people can really get their say of, of like which departments they want to they want to work with because then if there's someone missing we just assign them to every department. <laughs> so so we will do that at our next meeting uh, which as of yet is not scheduled but will likely be in uh, early October um, so now to our old business uh, Barbara or Chris any liaison reports no. Nope. I have none either. Deb, was there any correspondence? I didn't even look. I went up in the <laughs> So we check. The Finance Committee actually gets mail from time to time. It's usually, <laughs> from, it's usually from the state. <laughs> so, um, uh, review of minutes, because we only have three people here who were at the last meeting. I don't think we can vote on the minutes I would hold off. for last meeting, so we'll hold them off till till our next meeting. We, each meeting we vote on the previous meeting's minutes to approve them and put them on the official record and stuff. And Deb does an outstanding job <laughs> putting together the minutes for each one, so. 22 years, <laughs> kind of good. <laughs> So that's that's our agenda for tonight. Can I just say, how, how do I go about getting a town email account so I keep my personal separate from my town? Um, I would talk to Wayne Norling about that. He's our IT guy. The town website will um, it will list you on the, like, he'll have a, a sort of a person set up for you on the finance committee page, and it'll route emails that people, um, like, people can send, an, send email. an email through the town's website. So not to your specific email, but it'll route it to your email if you want to do it that way. I don't okay. know, or you might be able to, he might be able to set up a specific email for you as well. I don't Yeah, because I prefer to keep sure. so. my personal separate from yep. anything. Because if there's a public records request, everything in my personal is now brought into mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. WNorling at abingtonma.gov. Unless you want to see in personal. Okay. 
Oh, he's up one. Yeah. And he's, okay. Uh, as I mentioned, our next meeting will be um, early October. Let me look at the calendar real quick. And then, yeah, I'm okay. assuming closer to town meeting, we meet more regularly. So as we, <laughs> as we lead up to town meeting, um, typically we start around January meeting every Wednesday almost usually. Sometimes we'll meet with like the school department or a bigger department on a Saturday and kind of kind of go through all of their stuff at, at once mm -hmm. rather than do that on a weeknight when everyone's exhausted. Um, but typically starting in, in when we're into budget season and we're going through meeting with each of the departments and, and putting the budget together with the town manager and the town accountant, uh, we do tend to meet every week and in the off season, uh, we typically meet once a month. Okay. If there's a fall town meeting, like we had a fall town meeting last year, we meet a lot more frequently leading up to that to hash out exactly what we need, what we need to do financially for that town meeting. Yeah, we met, usually have a this, schedule. Yeah, you met a lot last September. We did indeed. <laughs> uh, like every week. Yeah. And yeah. We, we usually have a schedule um, as we're. Um, yeah, in for January uh, for each department when the department when that gonna department's going to come um, and present their budget and um, we try not to schedule the bigger departments together together or with anything else you yeah. know um, like the school department if we were going to have them on a regular Wednesday night it would just be the school department because um, it's a really big budget it's I like a town in, in and of itself one of my first years on the committee fire and police got scheduled on the same night yeah. and that was a very long night yeah because those are two big departments with long budgets and a lot to go over and you start to glaze over it's after not a, like it's not a good way a few to hours, really take like in all of the information that you need to take but in. can i ask you to that point though if salaries make up 75 to 80 percent of that budget you take that out when we're talking about 20 percent what are we what are we discussing at that point, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. No, no. But I'm just trying That's to understand how the process works, where it's like from year over year, 75 to 80 percent of the budget is salary and benefits. Not much, unless we're looking the downside. Not much is going to change. So sometimes Press. it's the looking for a, a, a lot. A lot of it. You're right. It, it's it, it, ideally we have what the budget was last year, what the budget is this year, and what we'd like is what's what was spent last year and what's been spent so far this year. Yep. Uh, and what's and, and, and what's the budget? Yeah. Because when we're doing the 20, we're, we're working on the fiscal year 22 budget. No, we've, we're in fiscal year 22. We're, we're going to be working on fiscal year 23. So we don't know fiscal year 22 yet in total, but we know the budget for fiscal year 22. We should know fiscal year 21 actual Yep. So we should be so able to look at that. A lot of a lot of what we go through is, um, so a lot of each department, their salaries are 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 broken down. Most of the time, we if it's especially if it's a bigger department, we'll see the salary person almost person by person without names. Uh, but they'll also break down their expenses into various line items and categories of like educational or telephone budget or IT budget or everything postage all, all sorts paper. of things. Yeah. but like it, and and most of those things very little change year year to year will look and really like okay well that one you're like you're spending two hundred dollars out of a three thousand dollar budget do you really do you really need the budget to be three thousand dollars right but we're and and a lot of times we, we do kind of get into minutia and over small amounts in the, in the grand scheme of things, like we're spending $800,000 on a bridge and, and we're quibbling over $500 in an account for yeah. one of the departments, but. Is that something that liaison works with, like as they go into the budget, it's like, you know, if, they, you know, if they, you, they absolutely can. Okay, because it because that's the thing. Like, if you every year you budget five thousand dollars for postage and use twenty five dollars, like. But usually, what we're what we're discussing when we're spending, the the department will go over like, you know, why they need the personnel that they have, and and more often than not, 
um, because as the town has grown and, and uh, situations in, in, in the town change, um, it's personnel, needing more personnel, whether it's more police officers, whether it's an administrative assistant to support um, a certain department or office, whether it's overtime budget. Um, an overtime budget, you know, it, it, we'll go back and forth, you know, about, uh, well, you know, if you run a second ambulance, can you uh, cut down on the, the overtime budget? Or is, you know, what is the cost savings? You know, really trying to figure out um, are we doing what's best for the town? Are we making sure that the money is being spent? Um, and we have great department heads, but as efficiently as possible. But lots of times the discussions at, at, at budget time have to do with, you know, either new um, personnel or um, equipment, whether it's a vehicle, um, whether it's an air conditioning system that's gone. And, and we'll go all around about what you know. But, can you spend this much? Can, or can you get by with this much? Or, you know. Now, would those items of to, would those be in the capital planning? Like are they most know? most of the time? Yes. Depends okay. on depends on what the item is. Okay. If it's a new software system, it probably isn't. It's probably in this budget, but <clears throat> this part of the budget. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> and there is a lot of work done behind the scenes by both the town manager, the town accountant, and the finance team working with the departments to kind of set, like, okay, well, how much are the schools actually getting? Like, what percentage of the town budget are the schools actually getting? And right. if we have increases or decreases, where, where, like, which areas are getting the brunt of that? In technically speaking, the town only approves the total amount. Correct. Like even the finance, you can Technical you could grill them and ask them questions. Well, but we but can ask lots of times. So ideally, they be. like to go to town meeting with a consensus. Right. The the, the um, town manager, the the management side of the town, likes to go to town meeting with um, a consensus budget, and so lots of times when you get to town meeting, you don't see that we've been here saying. We don't think that's a good idea. And and then we'll kind of go back and forth on something but like, you know. I think to the question you're asking, when you get the when you get the attachment to the warrant, you do see the department by department spending and and breakdown. But the article that the town actually votes on is the total budget amount. Oh, okay. Right. And that it's you know article one or two is yes. the budget. Yes. And right. you you know they'll give the highlights. The town manager or uh, Matt will give the highlights of what's gone on during the budget process, and then people will ask questions, and then you vote. But there are times when people will say, uh, "I want to remove." Uh, X, Y, or Z. X, X amount from X department uh, and vote the budget. And then we can debate that on town floor. Mm -hmm. you know, but there's less we're... of that around the school budget, though, just by law, that the, the yeah. school committee votes. The school committee has more that control budget. over yeah. their budget than any other department. Right. Well, yeah, I mean, that's why it was always, you know, you know I've seen it in the past where it's like the school committee has come in with an 18% increase. <laughs> and it's like, how, like, yeah, that's, and that's, that's not and even. That's, that's where the, the town manager and the finance committee do a lot of wrangling. Right. Well, right. the town manager and the um, right. superintendent. The finance team. Yeah, right. kind of uh, also work, go work back and forth on this is what lot. we can afford. Right. Uh, this is what the town can afford. And then um, the superintendent is. And they you know, try and always out. been good. They've always been good about trying to work together to get to the number that, you know. But they, you know, have to show what this is what we need. This right. is, you know. So with that, thank you. I'm, appreciate it. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> Our next meeting will either be October sixth or thirteenth, and so, I'll definitely send something out. I'll gauge people's availability. Okay. So. It, it, it typically on Wednesday? It's Yes, it's almost okay. always on a Wednesday, 7 right. o'clock, this room. So. Uh, and that's all we have for tonight. Are there any other questions, comments, motions? Motion to adjourn. 
Second. Motion to adjourn and second. Uh, any discussion? Out no. any, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining, it is unanimous. We are adjourned. Thank you all for your time.